fella Nihaya Aysen, uh, the current 2020 parliamentary candidate for Wajak Barry constituency. Uh, we called on this uh, press conference this morning because of issues that are going on in the constituency and also issues of registration that is going on across the country. Uh, yesterday was the telling and we went around the constituency to inspect every polling station to find out if the EC officials that are officiating this registration that is going on across the country are doing what they are supposed to be doing in my constituency as the parliamentary candidate for the National Democratic Congress is part of my duty to ensure that whatever exercise that is going on is going to be adhered to as far as the rules and the regulations and the guidelines that EC brings for the registration to go on effectively for people to be able to register and exercise their constitutional right as Ghanaians when it comes to time to vote. We had a few unfortunate incidents that happened yesterday, uh, which was very, 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 very baffling to me. And the unfortunate incidents, we realized that this is not something that um, it was just something that just happened. After a series of going to different polling stations and seeing a trend that certain officers of the Electoral Commission have taken up upon themselves and under their own authority to tell certain returning officers at different polling stations on their own directives that are not the directives of EC. As far as when we went through the training program in the different places that we went through to be able to prepare ourselves for this coming exercise. I myself, I went through about four training programs because I know as a parliamentary candidate, I wanted to make sure that I'm well aware and well briefed on the guidelines as far as the registration exercise is concerned. Unfortunately, yesterday, uh, when I reached at one of our polling stations, that is a taxi rank in SEC, the unfortunate incident that happened there was, I saw that one of our agents was just standing aside, away from the registration itself that was going on. I walk up to him and ask him, what is going on? Why are you not seated and monitoring what is going on? Only to my amazement that the EC returning officer there had told them that they should all step aside from where the registration is going on. And that it's not important for them to be as close to the registration and monitoring as possible. I then proceeded to go and ask them, okay, have you received your start of day report? He said, no. I said, why have you not received your start of day report? Because according to the guidelines of the registration, the start of day report should be the first thing that is printed in the morning that is supposed to what, be given to all the ages and be endorsed by three officers at the polling station before is given to what the agents. Unfortunately, our agent did not have their start of day report. I then proceeded to ask him, if you have not been given the start of day report, then how would you know that the previous day's end of day report coincides and correlates with the, the, the numbers that is on the start of day report. See, because the start of day report gives you an analysis of the previous day's total amount of registrants that went into the BVR system. And so, as an agent, if you don't have that, to be able to reflect on what happened, then how will you be able to know if 
the machine was taken somewhere else in the middle of the night and a registration was done in the middle of the night with other people you there's no way as an agent you'll be able to know so one of the key issues that we are facing is that the EC needs to be very very transparent I proceeded to call and ask the gentleman to call his superior officer uh, he was by the name of Gershon uh, at the taxi run the officer got on the phone with me and told me well we were instructed by others from above not to give the start of day report to the agents I said are you serious are you kidding me because we have a guidelines and a rule as far as this registration exercise is concerned they then proceeded to say, well, if I have any problem, I should what? Talk to their superior officers. So what did I do? As a parliamentary candidate, I then proceeded to call Miss Abigail, who is the district electoral officer here. I went ahead and called her. She gave me the answer of, okay, uh, honorable, I've heard you. I'll call you right back. Within two minutes, another lady calls me back and tells me she has just received report from the district electoral officer that I have a problem going on at taxi, uh, taxi rank in SEC. It was rather unfortunate because when I asked this lady, who are you, what is your name? She said, I'm sorry, I cannot give you my name. I said, what do you mean you cannot give me your name? She said, I'm sorry, but I heard you are you are not comfortable with us not releasing the start of day report to the agents. And I said, well, you know, we all went through the process and the training. And it's supposed to be that the start of day report should be endorsed and then the agents should be there when the registration exercise actually commences. A rather unfortunate, we have this incident of certain EC officials giving their own directives to agents on the ground in order to create animosity among us, the different parties that are represented in this country. And it is not in the best interest of Ghanaians, peace-loving Ghanaians, to have such a thing going on in different centers across this country. If this is happening in Wajak by constituency, I am very much aware and I'm very sure it is happening in other constituencies as well. But to make a long story short, we proceeded and then I had to report it on our electoral officers platform for my uh, Greater Accra electoral director to call Mr. John, who is the Greater Accra EC director. He ended up calling me back after Abigail said she was going to call me back. She did not call me back. Mr. John ended up calling me back and said, no, this is wrong. We have instructed all our what returning officers and all officers to adhere to this. And so we went ahead. I told them and they had to go and search the start of their report to go and make copies of it. We should not be in this position where I, a, a parliamentary candidate, have to go around and be begging EC officials to give out a start of their report that they've already been mandated and they've already been instructed to give to all agents. We proceeded to high tension. We saw that there were two polling stations there, the A and B. The A part to the left was a similar issue. The agent has not been given the start of day report. I proceeded to ask the same questions and it became the same answer. We have orders from above that we should not issue start of day reports to agents. My fellow Ghanaians, my friends, this is not the Ghana that we all want to dwell in. We want a peaceful Ghana. We want a well-regulated Ghana where Everything that we do, we do as Ghanaians to promote peace, tranquility, and honesty in our electoral and political system. Unfortunately, 
we went to another station, which was one plus one. Over there, we had an issue with another problem of the same kind where the people who are representing us as agents have not been given a start of their report. We proceeded from there, we went to um, Tech Fund. The same issue was there. We proceeded and went to Fire Service, all in SEC. We had the same problem over there, to the extent that even the gentleman at the Fire Service has to call uh, one Mr. Dankwa, who is one of the head of the uh, uh, ECs in the Wajak Bar Constituency. A very, well-known gentleman to me myself and i was shocked when mr dankwa got on the phone because the gentleman the returning officer put him on loudspeaker for everybody that was at the center to hear him and his answer that he's going to give as far as the start of the report was concerned and he told the returning officer we have already told them that it's not important for them to have the start of the day report because there's not anything on it but yet we know that the start of day report has what you have the the, the polling station code on it you have the timestamp on it indicating when the machine was last used when the machine was uh, uh started when they started the registration it also gives you the uh, figures of the previous usage of the machine the tabulation is at the top so that an agent that is looking at the start of their report can be able to compare the start of their report to the end of their report of the previous day and make sure that those numbers are in unison and that nothing fishy is there. We went on and went on and I had to call Mr. John to speak to him at the fire service before he went ahead and released the start of their report. We are holding this press briefing because this is very, very important for us. As a party, it is very, very important to me that NDC, as a party, we stand by the truth. We stand by the truth and we stand by the truth to promote peace and unity in this country. Everything that we are doing here, we are doing because we are peace-loving Ghanaians and we are law-abiding citizens that want to promote the peace of this country. If we don't care about Ghana, we will not be calling the press to be able to give them this information that is going on in our dear mother Ghana. But it is very, very important for all peace-loving Ghanaians to understand that anything that hinders the right of way for a proper registration to be done in this country. Anything that hinders any Ghanaian to exercise their constitutional right to be able to do what, as a Ghanaian, you are required when it comes to time to exercise your constitutional right to vote, then we who are law-abiding citizens, we who are at the forefront or the frontliners in politics, we have to stand up and talk for the people that don't have a voice. We have to stand up and talk for the people that are intimidated. We have to stand up and talk for the people that what? Maybe they might have a low self-esteem or whatever you might call it. And because of those things, they might not be able to come out. But we have to uh, put our voice out so that people can be able to what? hear what is going on, the injustices that are going on in other areas of the country, so that at the end of the day, we can be able to promote the peace that we want in Ghana. This exercise has been a thorn in the flesh of a lot of Ghanaians because a lot of people did not anticipate us to be where we are today. However, people are making sure that what? They will register and get their new voters ID card, irrespective of the restrictions that we are facing as Ghanaians to be able to register. So this is not the time that EC officials will take upon themselves and be issuing their own mandates and their own directives to other 
of uh, officers at the polling stations to be able to create confusion in the grounds. We are begging the EC, please talk to all your officers and make sure that your officers abide by the rules that have been set up for the registration exercise to continue in peace without any kind of fights, arguments, and so on and so forth. Because when these things happen, we all know where it leads to. And we don't want these things to happen. That is why we are hold, holding this uh, press briefing to alert all Ghanaians and to alert all agents, all party agents, irrespective of where you are working, please, when you get to the center, make sure, please make sure you are there on time and you make sure that what? The electoral officers that are there print out the start of day report. At the end of the day, also print out your end of day report and make sure when you come the following day, check and make sure that the end of day report of the previous day matches the numbers on your start of day report so that we know that we are holding the EC accountable. Uh, we know that politics. Uh, as we know it in Ghana, there are so many dynamics in politics. And for these things to be going on, for officers to be calling junior officers and be giving them instructions on what to do and so on and so forth, should tell you that there are some, some fishy things that are going on, especially we, the NDC, we are aware that everybody says SEC is a stronghold of the MPP. And for us to have eight polling stations with this problem happening over there, it tells us that it's time for us to tighten up and buckle up and make sure we open our eyes and we double check everything that happens in the SEC in the way that by constituency. People that were challenged, um, especially I was at that taxi rank, uh, like I said, there were a few people that people thought they were not Ghanaians uh, based on their accent and what they were saying and so on and so forth. However, you can't say that somebody is not a Ghanaian because he doesn't speak tree or doesn't speak ever or he doesn't speak Ghan. In respect of that, the person might, must be able to validate that what well, they have the required documents by law uh, that is in the new uh, constitutional instrument and also what is being enacted by the Supreme Court. Uh, so for now, uh, we, we are keeping track of everything that is going on. We are going on the field every day to make sure that the process goes on free and fair and we can be able to vote come December 7th without any restrictions whatsoever.